This is Alice Bailey. Um, there is a man who goes by the name of Forerunner 777, or that's the name of his channel anyway, uh, Forerunner Chronicles. And he uh, goes to her library called Lucius Trust. It used to be called Lucifer Publishing Company. And he goes there and checks out all types of books that um, she has there. So stay tuned for that. And uh, that'll start up about 4 minutes, 30 seconds into the video. I'm going to get back to focusing here on Blavatsky and her friends, actually. I'm not going to leave uh, just to talk to her alone. I'm going to expand on it some because that's what I do. So Blavatsky ended up meeting a woman named Annie Besant. And Annie Besant became a member of the Theosophical Society. And so did another woman named Alice Bailey. And Alice Bailey ended up writing a book called The Externalization of the Hierarchy. Y'all go online, look it up. You can find it. It's so easy to find. You may not care to read it, but it's there. Uh, I've skimmed through it and found some interesting things. But what she means by the title of her book is that she believes that there are these Ascended Masters. And the Ascended Masters handed down to her the knowledge that is in the externalization of the hierarchy. The Ascended Masters are the people that are in control of Earth and the universe and whatever else. So she indeed has her own doctrine that isn't anything like the Bible. But she is waiting for more of these Masters to actually make an appearance. Excuse me. She was waiting. She was waiting for them to appear because she's dead now. So she isn't waiting any longer. All right. But that's what she means. And she talked about uh, in the externalization of the hierarchy um, about UFOs and how they're watching and they're just waiting for us to kind of get our act together. And then they're going to come down and help us. She said that, um, you know, sightings are starting to increase and it looks like they're really going to show themselves at any moment. All right. So we have to keep these people's ideas in mind, their ideas, their ideals, their ideology, the philosophy, whatever you want to call it. We have to be aware of what other people in the world are talking about so we can put their beliefs in their proper place. We can define them. We can have discernment, discernment. Um, we should pray for discernment from God so we can tell what these things are. It's not hard once you have enough knowledge of the background of these people and where their ideas come from. Because for me, Alice Bailey is indeed talking to fallen angels and the devil. Those are the people that are giving her the information to write her books. Alice Bailey um, was one of the people who helped found the UN. She has a library inside a building that's connected to the UN, attached to the UN, inside of the UN. And uh, now I'm going to show something about her that came from a man named Forerunner777. And he also um, showed one of the best, two of the best um, documentaries I saw about Jay-Z and Beyonce and the New Age movement and some other things. Um, he was the first one I saw uh, show Jay-Z wearing the sweatshirt with Do With Thou Wilt on it. And him expressing the philosophies of the New Age and Alice Bailey. All right, the Age of Aquarius and Alice Bailey. He was the first one I ever saw do it. And he did a great job with that, a fantastic job. So I'm going to um, show this video. And I'll um, be uh, talking briefly here and there. Or maybe I'll just put some text on the screen. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. But let's get into it. This will show the Theosophical Society and the books that are in there. And you'll see that the books that are in there indeed have occult significance to them. And the writers of the books in there, you'll you'll be amazed to see some of these things that are in there.
over here you have the library of Alice A. Bailey. And if you see, she has numerous volumes here on the New Age movement and spiritualism. And this is right here in the Lucius Trust uh, Library located in London, directly next to uh, the United Nations Center as well. I found this interesting. This is amazing. Now this is inside of the Lucius Trust Library. You have a book here on William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare's writings. This is in... The takeaway here is birds of a feather flock together. When you have Alice Bailey's works in here, and you have Blavatsky's works in here, you have Bassant's writings in the Theosophical Society's library, or Lucius Trust Library, whichever you want to call it, it's all the same to me. You can have all those writings in there, and you'll also find writings from William Shakespeare. You'll find writings from um, the man who wrote... Uh, the Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass. Many of those stories have occult double meanings behind them. They have esoteric understandings behind them. But the only real way to know what you're reading is to have those occult understandings and know what you're watching is to have those understandings. Without them, you'll be a little lost and you'll be happy with just the uh, exoteric the outer understanding as in just, just just the generic showing of the information, the generic showing, the generic reading verbatim, you'll be happy with that. And it will seem like a really cool story until you start getting initiated into the occult and masonry and all that stuff. And then you'll have a different understanding of what you're looking at uh, and or reading. <laughs> we just trust like, right? So, what do you think William Shakespeare's writings are all about? Unholy Bible. My goodness. Well, I have to really get my head around all of this first. <laughs> I'm shocked. Here's another interesting one. Inside of the library of Lucius Trust. A candid history of the Jesuits. The Jesuit organization was founded by Ignatius Loyola. Loyola was dissatisfied with the way he had to contact God. He wanted more out of God than just a prayer and then to perhaps wait on God to give him an answer. So Ignatius decided that he would turn to witchcraft and contact demons and do everything that the Bible asked him not to do in order to get the answers about life that he wanted. And in other words, he turned into a mystic where he was just willing to do any and everything to find the answers that he wanted out of life. Um, the Jesuits have been known as the military arm of the Pope. There's an oath that they take to the Pope. Um, who knows if it's real or not. If you guys look up the Jesuit oath, online you'll find it and um there is also uh, a black pope all right the head of the jesuits is known as the black pope and the reason that it's weird for me that they're showing the pope that we have now is that he's a jesuit all right and the jesuit university is a trip because they'll do they'll do whatever i don't mean the jesuit university i mean the jesuit universities there are a lot of them around America. There are a lot of them around the globe. Uh, some of your favorite universities are Jesuit universities. Y'all should look those up as well. You'll find some interesting ties. Uh, one of the next videos I'm going to show is I'll show a video where there were a group of Jesuits who went to a convent. And by the time they were done, 
they had to shut the convent down. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys why, because it'll, it'll be really interesting for why they had to close it down. But we'll get to that later. Clearly showing the link between the Jesuits and spiritualism. There's another book. The yoga. No. Teachings on yoga. All of these ideologies are in harmony with the theosophical movement. They're all in harmony with spiritualism. See multiple books here on yoga. Ani yoga. Here's another one, Yogi Philosophy, and I've uh, seen quite a few books here on yoga thus far, all of them, right here in this library. Look at that, the Gnostic Gospels. <laughs> well, yeah. Far right. <laughs> the Gospels. Of course, you have multiple books in here on, on astrology and telepath telepathy and numerous other Eastern forms of uh, spiritualism. Hmm. Here's where you get your Easter from. Crucian manual right here. Yeah. And just various books on magic and Communicating with animals. <laughs> Very interesting. The teachings of Zoroaster. up here, Blavatsky's writings on secret doctrines, Madame Blavatsky. I mean, this is it. This is where, this is where it's all at. You can just imagine how many fallen angels have to be in this place itself because these are ideologies that they themselves conceive.
I made this video so everyone can see that they have libraries with all sorts of occult and mystic things in them. And the reason they have all that stuff together is because all that stuff is in the same league to them. It's all, it all has esoteric meanings. They have double meanings, all right? In masonry, there's a double-headed eagle. You know, the eagle's looking left and it's looking right at the same time. So you can have two different understandings. You know, you have one viewpoint on the left and you have one on the right. You know, um, in our own government, we even have left and right wings, right? But they're all part of the same bird. It doesn't matter. The, the, in, in order for the bird to get somewhere, the wings have to flap, all right? So they have all those different philosophies in there and they're flapping the wings of the bird and the bird moves, all right? So when you have Zoroaster in there, Zoroaster um, religion is full of demonology, okay? You have the Gnostic Gospels, that's full of demonology. And again, back to the secret doctrine, they don't want you to know that they're worshiping Lucifer. That's the God that they serve. In Washington, D.C., there's a statue. There was a statue. I think they took it down, you know, since they've been taking them all down lately. There's a, there was a statue dedicated to a man named Albert Pike. And Albert Pike was a Mason, okay? And he even said that Lucifer is the God that they serve. So we have to know what these people are talking about so we can put their ideals and their beliefs in the proper order, all right? Um, I'll come back with some more videos and show you guys some more things about these people, okay? Y'all be safe.